When I first saw this anime and its description back before Winter 2017 started, I have to say that I expected this show to be one of the good ones this season. Let me just say now though, I was completely wrong. Hello everyone, this is the RPG Monger, and today, let's discuss the absolute tragedy that is Handshakers. I really wanted this series to be good, I really did, to the point of watching 5 whole episodes in anticipation of it getting better, when in actuality, as the series goes on, it just starts to fall apart and add in crappy cliches. Though before I get too salty, let's just go over what Handshakers is. Animated by Gohans, this anime does have pretty sweet visuals an animation that is some of the best of this season, not to mention the soundtrack is pretty good too, as expected of Gohans. Though, that's where the praise for this anime ends. To make an anime, or just any show in general, production value can only take you so far, if your writing and characters are absolute shit. Like, our main character here is your classic light novel protagonist, who I for one have seen a million times. With the plot revolving around a girl whose only character trait is literally just her grunting and making faces. I kid you not. Every episode of Handshakers follows the really crappy formula of the main characters, Tazuna and Koyori, encountering another pair of Handshakers and fighting them only to win. And I'll admit, the fights do look pretty good with the animation and all. But it is completely and utterly ruined by who they're fighting against. Like in the first episode, the enemies they go up against are basically fan service. And on that topic, what isn't ruined by crappy characters in this anime is in turn ruined by random fan service and crappy cliches that seemingly come out of nowhere and have no place in this anime. Like with the first antagonists being masochists, I should have honestly just stalked then and there. Though I kept watching, and I will say, the businessman and the lolly that is somehow of age do have a somewhat okay backstory, and are probably the best characters compared to the rest in this anime. Though that really isn't saying much. Oh, and don't you love it when anime pulls this shit? Like, I can just see it now. Officer, please don't take me away! She's only a hundred thousand years old! No! Like, honestly, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen this stuff happen with lollies that look like they're 8 years old, but they're actually 30. Though anyways, then we have what they did in the most recent episode, which is where I drew the line. But before I go over that, let's go back a bit to this girl whose sole character trait are boob physics that totally makes sense. And in the most recent episode, apparently she's a fucking brocon too. Glad to see that in 2017, incest in anime is still alive and well. Jeez guys, I didn't know I was watching Sword Art Online. I probably just enraged so many people by saying that. There just seem to be so many rabbit Sword Art Online fans, like, I don't know, maybe it's better now, but back in the day when it was at its height, they were everywhere and they would hate on anyone that dissed Sword Art Online, and I mean anyone. Anyways though, like, I think it's obvious on which kind of audience they're pandering to in this anime. With cliches like these, like, they're not fooling anyone here, come on. Though hey, if you like the visuals of Gohans, then by all means feel free to watch this anime. Though, if you're looking for a good plot and character development, this is for sure not the anime for you. After watching the first five episodes of Handshakers, I can for sure tell you that I give Handshakers the monumental rating of R34 bait out of 10. Because let's be real, with quote unquote plot points like these, what else is this anime going to be? So take my word, do not watch Handshakers. If you like this video and want to see more like it, do subscribe. And that being said, today's cool thing of the day is the new trailer for Season 5 of Samurai Jack. I cannot tell you how hyped I am for this shit. Like, there really is nothing more satisfying than a cartoon that actually ages with you and becomes more and more mature as time goes on, with Season 5 actually going on Adult Swim this time. Needless to say, I can't wait for it to come out in March. Though anyways, I'm the RPG Monger and don't forget that each and every one of you are fantastic.